Hi, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks for joining me again for the waterfall demonstration. This today I've done this sort of little, simple little river bend here, framed by a few little trees and things. Try to just trying to vary the colour a little bit because I'm, I'm aware a lot of my paints um, tend to look a bit sort of samey. Um, so I'm trying to clean the brush a lot more just to try and get different colours. Like we, we go for this sort of purpley colour into this lemon yellow bit of ultramarine and just varying it as we come through the painting a bit more so before I show you how I did this one let's just have a quick look at the um, materials so on the palettes we've got ultramarine lemon yellow Payne's grey lizard crimson raw sienna burnt umber light red large on ransom egg brush and 15 by 11 Fabriano so let's start with Plenty of water because I want lots of colours mixing in the background. I get some real mood and atmosphere going. So I'm going to start off with a glycerin, raw sienna, just pop some of that in, and bring that down to the bottom. Bring the brush, just put a fair bit of water on the brush. I'm going to go into some ultramarine, just a touch of glycerin in there. Push that in as well. Again, something like so. And I'll take all those three colours and have a pretty high rising line. If it's just some distant trees. Something like that. It's a very quick flow. I'm going to stop that paint from dripping down the paint, but it's still quite wet. But it just gives you some nice bit of control of the uh, hair dryer. Now we have the same colours. into a few things growing there, a few little twigs and trunks. Oof, that's quite strong that one. Put something down there. It's a bit of, bit of no, I'll uh, clean the brush first. I'm going to get a nice bit of contrast, a bit of nice colour change. I'm just going to straight with that lemon yellow. I'm just going to push that in. Something like that. A little more sienna in front there. Add a bit of ultramarine. Put a bit of burnt umber in there as well. Top of the river up this end. A bit of ultramarine. So I might do, well, I've got this dark colour, a bit of brown, a bit of blue, darken it even more. Just, it's just getting the colour out of a quick. Just a little scrape because it's still quite wet, it's filling in a, a fair bit, so it's not going to be quite as pronounced. I'll just keep it a little bit subtle. Let's just get this paper flat against this board. I've got it leaning against just a 9mm piece of fly line on the easel. Soak that water up at the bottom.
Bit of ultra marine to that as well. And then on a couple of trees, a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Come on, popping one tree up there like that. The reflection's coming down. Another tree, the one up there, reflection down below. Got a few branches and things on there, so I'm just going to get a brown, a bit of blue, same two colours. I'm just going to flick around. There's a little bit of land there, so it's not all going to be water on that side, but we've got those reflections down there. Let's put that land in. I'm going to go back into the strain to yellow. Just see, just paint it straight over that. Bit of blue in there. ultramarine in there as well. Brown and blue you can get a really nice dark. You don't have to keep getting to paint grey, you get some nice colours. Just using those to what I'm doing now, just strengthening these edges. A little bit darker. Some down there as well. Big rocks. things growing in the water. Right, let's do some on this side. I'm going to go straight back into that lemon yellow. Just push that in there like that. Get some in there. Get a burnt one back, just bear it slightly. I say burnt on, but I mean ultramarine. Just clean the brush. Once it starts to go muddy, you'll have to clean the brush if you want to go back to some nice clean colours. Back into that nice lemon yellow. So a bit of lemon yellow over there as well. Make it all slight. Get a big tree, I want some big trees. And I'm going to quite the cleaner brush I'm going dark. So I'm getting a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Nice dark mix, it's not too much water, just enough to hold all the airs together. I'm just going to go up there like that. See if like that. Drifting off. Let's get the number three rigger out. Some things growing. Some things coming out of there as well. You see, because it's still wet, I've, uh, it's, it's sort of soft enough. Next to that, I'm going to have another one. 
I might have to go over that again a bit. And I've gone slightly, a little bit thinner, slightly in front of that one. Back to the number three rigger. Bit of brown, bit of blue, lots of paint and water. A few little twigs and things going. Again, a few more flicks here and there. Try not to overdo it. Let's get this flat against this board. Well, I'll do. I'll give the paper a quick dry. What is that? It's just uh, let's just do something with the water. Just clean the brush. Just squeezing the water out of it. I'm just making a nice chisel, chisel edge tape brush, just like that. So that little that colour off the banks of the water and just pull them over into the into the river. Looks like ripples and things on the on the surface of the water. Let's give that a quick, very quick dry. these tree trunks a little bit. I'm getting a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Put together. Turn on back ultramarine. Makes it a little bit darker. And this one as well. Some of those tweaks as well. It's the same mix, brown and blue. Right, let's get some shadows in there. I've already done some darker areas, but I just want to add a few shadows amongst it all. So, a bit of brown, I could just go brown, red, blue, no real science to it. Mixing up a sort of bluey grey colour. First, I just need to give it a quick dry.
so I'm, I'm, uh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm going to have the shadow sort of come in this sort of direction, I think. Uh, it's just, it's just come straight across there like that. A little bit too short, I'm going to write mess of that now, and I'll let mix it all back together. Put the thing back in the So I'm just drying it. I'm just gonna have just a just a little something up there. Brush that I used to do with birds and little figures with. I'll just pop a little bird in and mix that right there. I think I'm going to call that one. Call that one finished. So just pop my name in the corner. I'm going to come back and I'll get in. I'm going to stick it there. Right, let's stick a mount on that too. That's all right. So here's our finished painting in its mount, so if we go and have a closer look. Sky, very very simple sky, just the odd bit of blue here that you can see through the clouds. Um, sort of raw sienna, ultramarine, just a touch of alizarin in there. And a bit more alizarin for these distant trees, this tree line here. Sort of really hazy, almost sort of semi-abstract put in. A little bit lighter on this side. Then, importantly, I've cleaned the brush and then took a bit of lemon yellow just to, yes, there's your fields there and again to contrast against those colours always clean your brush when you want to change colour and you can see I did a bit of ultramarine, got those mixing because the paper was still wet at this stage a bit of burnt umber just to define the edges of these uh, river banks and then you can see when I've scraped in just a few little rocks here and there along the water's edge on this left hand side we've got two big trunks going up, did it in two layers just to get that extra sort of dark silhouette against the light sky there. Bit of rigor work, a few branches and twigs amongst it growing under the undergrowth as well and we've got the shadows coming off. Same so again on this right hand side with these big tree trunks going up, just a hint of a bit of foliage, a bit of rigor work and again sort of shadowy areas down the bottom. Got a whole mass of reeds and grasses growing here in the foreground, a little bit of dry brush with the Hike, just to suggest a few little flowers and things growing amongst all this uh, undergrowth and then just use a dry brush just to put in a few ripples and things on the water you can see just to try and make it a little bit more light water and sort of fade away as it goes off into the distance well I hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching thanks as always for your support and best wishes um, keep practicing any questions please ask
Until next time, I'll see you all again soon.